Okay, so we're going to use Excel to show a couple of things. We can do, first one is we can do simple image processing with even with a single neuron and introduce the idea of generalization. Okay, so let's start with this. So we've got an image, the black parts are zero, the white parts are one, so we can see an F shape in here. And for each pixel in this image, we have a weight associated with it. So at the moment, all the pixels, or oh, sorry, the weights for the pixels that are blank are minus one, and in the uh, image itself, the pixels won't lit up. I put one in there. And to show what happens, this figure below with the green and red is showing what happens when this pixel is multiplied by this pixel and so on. So we can see the outcome of these. Okay. So according to, well, not according to, the, the adaptive form of the Macaulay-Pitts model with the bias, our weighted sum is going to be essentially all of this added together plus the bias. And that's what we're seeing in this. Okay, so when the pixel is, so when the image has the right pixels, we could potentially get it to say, recognize only this image. How do we do that? Well, we do it by working out what happens when this image occurs with the right weights. And what we get is a 11 coming out of this. There are 11 pixels here in, in here and the associated weights, everything else because these are zeros, it's going to be a negative. It's going to be zero. So if we take away level 11, according to that model that we've been playing with, we've got, and we make it minus 11. When we get this with these weights, with the bias subtracted, we get zero. The model is greater than or equal to zero. To give you someone out. So what I've done is said, okay, when that happens, just like that, image detected, otherwise it's not detected. So that's easy to say. So what happens if we change one of these? Well, we can see what's happened here. We've got a minus one here. What we have is this times this giving us minus one. This bias has pulled us below zero. So our weighted sum comes out at minus one. So it's not detected. But perhaps you'd say that still looks like an F. And I'd agree. So how can we fix that? Well, we could fix it so that you know we make that change that weight there. But what if we said, well, I like a little bit more flexibility that let's put that back to zero and make that one a one like that. Yeah, you know, I'd like to be after something that's still an F with just a little bit of noise. I would like it to be able to work. So how could we fix that? Well, what we could do is make our bias and our system a little bit less fussy. So if I instead said, well, I want, I'm okay with one or two pixels different, one pixel different. 
if I move the bias up, when we get one and minus one like we have here, it doesn't matter. It will, because the bias is set to be a little bit higher, anything that's the image or with one pixel difference will work. So we can build it to have a little bit of, to be a little bit less fussy. Put that back. And let's say I put one here. Again, it's still working. You can see image detected here. If I try and put another one in, it's not detected anymore. I could adjust it to by to minus nine to cope with two pixels different. So let's see a problem with that. Let's put it back so we get our Now here we're starting to see a problem, potential problem. Is that an E or is that an F now? So we have to be careful with this idea of generalization that we don't start pushing it into things that don't make sense anymore. I mean, on a large image, one or two pixels different is not going to make much too much of a problem. So we can do image image pro simple image processing. We can adjust the bias to be a little bit more forgiving in something like this. And uh, yeah, I mean, if we wanted to change the image to be an E detector, then we would change the weights.